Hi, I'm Mitch. Welcome to the workshop. Today I'm just going to say a few words about curfing planes. Now, I've not been a, a big user of curfing planes. Uh, it's only very recently that I received a curfing plane uh, to review uh, that I started to, to use them. But I've used something similar in the past, and I'll discuss that a little later on. The curfing plane basically is a saw blade um, held in a bit of a jig, which means that you can run it um, fence-like against a batten or whatever on a piece of work so you get a nice straight saw curve which you can then use for other things so it might be a saw curve that defines the edge of a rebate, a dado but probably more commonly if you want to rip a piece of stock to width you can use the curving plane to put in a nice curve either side on the rip line and then that will help to guide your rip saw as you make that cut. So let's take a closer look. So in its simplest form really you've got a saw blade that gets fixed between two pieces of hardwood. You'd probably cut some sort of handle or grips on there so that you can get a good hold to do your sawing. And it's sawing in a planing motion, that's why it's obviously called a plane. Um, you basically run the edge of this, or either whichever edge you like, against the batten clamped onto your work. And that just means that you can saw a lovely straight line as deep as the plane will allow you. And obviously you can set the blade at whatever depth you like. Now recently I've been given this uh, plow plane for review. And it actually comes with a curfing blade attachment to it. Which um, takes all the hassle out of making one and actually works really well. You've got your nice comfy handle on there and you can go straight ahead and set up for your curve cuts. So let me just demonstrate on ripping a board to width. So I've got this nice piece of reclaimed um, pine. I don't want it as wide as this. So let's just say I want to rip it down round about here, round about 3 eighths of an inch off the edge of it. Now I could just plane that off I suppose, but that's a fair bit of effort and I just end up with a load of shavings which aren't much good apart from maybe lighting the fire. I could actually save myself a quarter of an inch here which might just come in handy later on. So ordinarily I would rip that with a saw. Take a panel gauge, set it to the width I want, run my line and then follow that line with the rip saw. But I don't know if you noticed the grain on this is not exactly wonderful on this side. This edge is nice, so it's uh, quite straight, and I'm sure I could rip that without too much problem. On this side, I'd probably be constantly readjusting a saw cut. But if I set the curving plane up to put a curve cut just on the waist side of the line, I can run a curve in there perhaps a quarter of the way through, and that will really help to guide my rip saw and I'll have to make much less adjustments as I go. So I've got my board clamped up between dogs on the other bench. I've set the uh, fence up on the plane so the curving blade is just on the waist side of my line. And now it's just a case of planing or sawing, whichever you want to call it. Ordinarily I would do that on both sides of the board, same distance apart, so that my rip cut would just be through the central section. A bit like um, ripping a, a thick piece of stock on the table saw and then taking it to the band saw to finish the cut in the middle. But if you look closely you'll see that uh, this curve cut is lining up with an existing groove on the reverse. So now it's just a case of ripping. So a lovely straight line just where I wanted it. I can now stick that in the vise or on the shooting board and just shoot that edge nice and square. So 
So hopefully you saw how easy it was to, to make that rip cut perfectly straight. Now, if you don't have a curving blade, you could just use your, your rip saw and uh, clamp a couple of battens along it. You'd need them for the full length of the saw just to make sure there's no flex going on. Uh, but that would work just as well. But I do really like the simplicity of just setting the fence on a plane like this. Now if you haven't got a curving blade, uh, but you still want to do a similar sort of thing, uh, if you've got a plough plane or a grooving plane that has a, uh, a very thin cutter on it, this is uh, three millimetres, you can use that to create the curve cut. And obviously you're just doing a, a grooving cut with that, using the plane as normal, and you do it both sides of where you want to cut, and then you just rip in between them. But uh, having tried, that's the method I've used in the past, and having tried both methods, I must say that I, I do like the curving saw method. Well, that's all for now, apart from that, of course. Uh, until next time, cheerio. For a chance to win this plane as part of my 25,000 subscriber giveaway, check out the review of this plane published separately. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Cheerio!